Hello everyone, I'd like to introduce you to the new hotness from Sig Sauer, the P365X Macro Comp. This little number is gonna change the concealed carry game. Stick around, I'll tell you why. Recently, SIG invited the Pew Pew crew out to New Hampshire for a couple of big reveals. One was their new SIG Sauer Experience Center, and the other was shrouded in mystery until we arrived. We first toured SIG's factory and got to see a lot of different processes for building guns. In addition to this, we started to pick up on an interesting culture from the company. SIG is all about doing more, and this was evident in the things we saw. While many companies are content to stay in the market by making guns comparable to the standard, SIG is driven to raise the bar. As a prime example of this, we were then taken to the grand opening of the SIG Sauer Experience Center. Perched on the grounds of the SIG Academy, we entered this new building, a shooting mecca with a sense of awe. Every SIG product imaginable lined the walls in the pro shop. There were also a lot of supporting products and accessories carefully selected to improve your shooting experience. Anything from med kits, belts, holsters, watches, glasses, and even clothing filled the shelves. The massive building also contained a coffee shop, museum, VIP lounge, conference room, and indoor ranges. It was extremely handy to then walk over to the SIG Academy range where we were introduced to the new P365. There have been several versions of this gun over the last few years, but the X Macro Comp takes the prize in following SIG's theme of, well, more. The X Macro evolves this family of guns to its highest form by increasing capacity to 17 plus one and adding an integral compensator, all in the size of a P365 XL. Before we go any further, we'd like to thank our friends over at Silencer Shop for sponsoring this video. You probably know them from their kiosk at your local gun shop. This new offering means people can carry a micro compact with the same amount of ammo as many full-sized pistols. You can look at a few different versions of SIG's benchmark concealed carry gun and see the progression as footsteps leading up to the X Macro. There was the original P365, the XL, the Spectre Comp, and finally, the X Macro Comp. Once we had a little trigger time on the X Macro Comp, it was announced that all the media folks would be using the guns in a competition. Four stages had been set up for all of us to put the gun through its paces. My training has never been in the competitive shooting realm, and it was evident when I started slowly pieing corners and proceeding carefully like I might get shot. Regardless, the performance characteristics of the X Macro became clear quickly. All targets required two, sometimes three shots. Since the whole thing was timed, everyone pushed to get their hits and finish quickly. Controlled pairs with the X Macro were a breeze and triples were solid too. All the guns were equipped with SIG's Romeo Zero Elite, which has a few reticle options, such as a 3 MOA dot or a 2 MOA dot with a 32 MOA circle. Running the plate racks, the 32 MOA circle was excellent for ensuring hits. By the time we were done with the competition, I had had zero malfunctions and was impressed with the X Macro's performance. SIG sent one back to Austin for us to continue testing and collect more observations. They also sent some Black Point tactical holsters for real world applications. While concealing the newest member of the P365 family, I noticed the grip is definitely a bit longer. This creates an interesting paradox. It's slightly more difficult to conceal, but I find it much easier to draw. My big hands create some challenges on smaller guns, and this is one of them. Establishing good grip from concealment is a crucial step, and I can lock onto the X Macro with a lot more confidence. This gun fits my hand better than this one does. Still, I occasionally found the magazines would hang up on the heel of my hand when I dropped them. The gun is absolutely fine. This is a big hand problem that most people won't experience. Damn it. Sig sent along the Foxtrot 2 weapon light, and man, this thing is impressive. For such a small unit, it puts out a good deal of light. Ringing in at 580 lumens and 13,000 candela, this accessory helps make the X Macro Comp a full scenario carry option. Unfortunately, just before additional testing, the Romeo Zero Elite inexplicably stopped working. I tested the battery with a voltmeter, replaced it anyway, and still couldn't get the red dot to function again. 
During the event at the SIG Academy, we likely fired over a thousand rounds through all the guns. I didn't have a problem with the dot then and didn't hear of any other testers having issues either. So to wrap this all up, it's impressive to see how far SIG is willing to go in order to not make Me Too guns. They'll pull the whole industry forward as a result. Some pushing and shoving, others kicking and screaming. The X Macro Comp is an interesting evolution because it begins to blur the lines of capability between the traditional sizes of handgun. The capacity alone is impressive, but the integrated comp really helps with follow-up shots and overall speed of shooting. If you're a fan of the P365 series, this gun is a no-brainer. If you really like micro compacts, but don't want to compromise on your total round count, this is the option. Add in the bonus of the compensator reducing muzzle flip, and it's hard to find anything the X Macro doesn't offer. Current pricing appears to be in the neighborhood of $799.99. Because we're filming this in advance of the release, we encourage you to head over to pewpewtactical.com where we'll have the full review with additional details. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it.